So I wanted to do a follow-up video on the uh, last one I put up. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us, I mean. All right, so, you know, some of the stuff I um, experienced at the uh, Colorado, I wanted to get into that a little bit because, you know, you got people like their archpriest, Athanasios, calling everybody creeps, you know, anyone who put out information about him or exposed them, they're all creeps. But it turns out that these people are the real creeps, you know, they behave like a bunch of high school students who once... They're worse than Jehovah Witnesses, you know. I didn't get any messages yesterday for Forgiveness Sunday from any of them. Just a bunch of high school students. I actually sent, you know, to a few, like their uh, nun in the comment over there, you know, she, she's really under Gregory's thumb and she, uh, it's really sad. I would hopefully see her to uh, want to leave someday. Once you're um, loyal to somebody because they do certain things for you, whether they feed you or clothe or, you know, give you a place or whatever, it's really... Why do, we, why do you think we see a lot of these politicians who are making, you know, high salaries? And I'm not saying they're making salaries who's so corrupt because when you're relying on someone, it's really hard to go against them, you know. And the, But the fact of the matter is it's not the church. You know, I was willing to stay because I loved the atmosphere, the architecture, and I felt grateful for what they'd done for me. But in the face of all these articles and arguing with people, I was still willing to play dumb and stay until the last thing, which he really offended me, you know, because... Uh, George Mills, who uh, styles himself as Bishop John, he really doesn't, he does not need to be a spiritual father. The guy behaves like a hippie. You know, what I told you last time where he just told me what he told me and it was very, very frustrating and disgusting to have to deal with that. And, you know, there's a lot of elder worship that goes on there. I mean, I call once or twice a month. I'm not very needy and it's always like, well, I gotta go make the video sermon. He's, uh, Greg, Gregory's calling me. I gotta go, you know, I gotta do this. And it's like, wow, you can't spend 15, 20 minutes. I have a serious issue. It's like, you know, you've been Orthodox for a year or two, whatever. It's just, but the people aren't learning anything. They're not learning how to perform anything. They're just putting out their sermons, attacking everybody every Sunday, you know, it's just, are you teaching the people how to do the prayer of St. Ephraim? Are you teaching people, you know, what the proper procedures of fasting? Are you teaching anything? Or is it that you think you're the only true bishop? You know, like he told me when I went there, he said, I said, hey, is there any other true orthodox I could benefit from? Actually, I found later that I can benefit from a lot. And uh, I subscribe to a lot of their pages and read their information and their books. But they told me, no, you know, it's like, uh, no, we're, exactly. I don't want to misquote. He said, uh, this is it. You know, this is it. They're the only true orthodox. Like, he's the only, the last bishop. <laughs> it's like what, uh, you know, this movie, what is it called? Uh, the Last Dragon or something, you know, looking for... Uh, um, uh, the master, the last master, or whatever is this guy's the last bishop. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, but yeah, you know, they're just weird, really weird over there. It's just, I remember one time when they dropped me back off to the truck, you know, I was trying to get my stuff and the icons and books I purchased and hurry up and put them in the truck, but they wanted to go. And Gregory was just like, kiss my hand, you know. And then another time, uh, George Mills, he's sitting there at Trapeza. And I see how the monks, you know, don't really, they just kind of make the motion. So I made the motion, you know, I said, uh, Vladika bless, and I put my hand out and I came close. But then he actually followed with his hand all the way over his head to like put it in my face to make sure I kiss it. I've never seen people love to have their hands kiss as much as these people, really. <laughs> never. I, I just, I find it very strange. And other strange things, uh, you know, the fact that when I brought the woman I spoke about, you know, uh, George Mills grabbed her for confession and Gregory gave such an angry look like you know he wanted to be the one to do it with her this was before the baptism and uh, I, I have no idea what he spoke to her about in confession but it seems like a lot of people are telling me that he's he's obsessed with masturbation and he spoke to me about that too and and there was a guy I, I haven't been there for this one but there was a guy who was like a Harley guy or biker guy who went there and they asked him and trap is it right in front of everyone if he had a problem with masturbation I have no idea why he's so obsessed with masturbation but I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I mean, is this something, in, 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 you know, I'm, I'm new to orthodoxy and I'm learning. And I came in years ago through the, uh, when I came back to Christ, because, you know, I left decades ago, realizing that the Roman Catholicism was a heresy and corrupt. So I came back to the Coptic tradition and I realized, uh, you know, I was on the wrong side. And I, was, I think I discussed it in the first video. And and I spoke to Roll Corps, MP, so many different groups before I found Gregory in Colorado. And, um, I don't know, where was I going with this? Uh, now I forgot already, but uh, let's go on to the next thing. So, 
Okay, oh, yeah, so uh, George Mills made a trip, what was it, last October? And there was an elderly uh, man, you know, in his 80s, and he's like a paisano man, you know, he's Italian too. And uh, his place that he lives at is not able to <laughs> support a baptism, you know, the floor. So we let her do it in her house. And, you know, that was our time. They were actually, he was talking about performing the marriage then, but instead he drives 200 miles to bring someone back from the west side of the state that we were in who should have just slept on, on the uh, you know I would have got him a hotel or whatever spending hours which is weird and you know finally gets back and then he speaks to her son for hours with the gleam in his eye that's another thing they prey on the youth you know when they got youth over there there's a woman who they actually drove her car all the way from Virginia to the skeet and fortunately I gave him a, a you know very uh, expensive headset and he was so glad for that so he could speak to his brother who was driving the other car you know and it's just something we uh, out here who drive know the value of a good headset because I mean either you're going to put the money in that or you're going to spend thousand dollars for a ticket in some states for holding the phone to your ear so I don't regret anything I've done for them really I don't um, so they drove the car all the way back you know because she has a young son too and they, they, I think now he's a, he's a novice with them so they prey on the youth and I ask God to protect uh, her son from ever deciding to go under Gregory's thumb. I mean, so, um, yeah, Gregory, you know, he's been defrocked. And even if he wasn't defrocked, just the fact that he baptized someone who was baptized from the old roll corps, and we don't mention names here, but I know this for a fact, that's enough to be, you know, that's a mockery of the cross. I think it was, it was in Carthage or the council, or they discussed about that. That's enough to be defrocked or deposed, you know, it's just, uh, I'll see if I can put that in the drop down menu, you know, but uh, in the first video too, make sure you check out that description in the drop down menu. Everything is there. If you're going to read all this and still think that they're the true church, I don't know what to tell you. You know, you can't stay somewhere because you got a buddy there because it's beautiful icons. Oh, talking about that. I remember when I brought her to the church, the woman I spoke about in the first, uh, without giving details, of you know who she is or whatnot, Gregory says to her, "Have you ever seen anything like it?" You know, and it's a Bostonian accent, and uh, of course she said she's awestruck. And it's like, okay, you know, this is the church of you claim this is the church of the true church, and why are you? It just seems weird showing off like that. It's just really, have you ever seen anything like it? I mean, <laughs> and there's witnesses to that too, by the way. But these these people, they just behave very strange. Um, and you know very partisan they're just partisan you know you, like i said about they just remind me of the jehovah witnesses you know when you don't want to listen to them anymore that's it they cut you off they don't make any attempt to try to convince you because they know they have no convincing you know in the face of all this evidence and proof they have nothing to convince and um when you walk into their nave you know on the right side there's a is that saint pacomius where it says whoever cannot retake whoever cannot take a, the, a rebuke whether it's for or against them loses his salvation so here I am rebuking them, and they all can't take it because they're a bunch of high school students. And I'm sure they're working with the person I spoke about to make sure she stays so that they can hurt me further. And, um, you know, you could tell you, I was already in the proverbial doghouse when I started asking questions, especially to their archpriests, asking questions. And, and I even asked, you know, why are you praying for the civil authorities? They never got back to me and then I had him ask and they said oh I know who asked that and they mentioned my name it's like why couldn't you tell me am I not like a I'm not capable of knowing this myself I'm not capable of, of this information what am, am I stupid or something I mean who are we kidding here the jig is up over there you know let's people are starting to catch on here and if you're not then I don't know what to tell you you just want to remain blind but so hmm. Yeah, there's many stories. There's a lot of people who have been spiritually hurt and harmed by them. I'm, I've been getting a lot of support from this from people all over the world and bishops and thanking me. And, uh, you know, we, the monastery belongs to the people. I mean, it's 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 not time anymore to turn a blind eye to this, okay? And say, oh, you know, he's got beautiful icons or books. It's like, this guy's attacking everybody. So if I'm the first one to light the fire, then we need to, you know... This guy thinks he's, you know, he's the true church. He's his own bishop. He has nobody to even defrock him because there's no one. He just, you know, <laughs> went on his own and did his own thing. They're in rogue. They're... Somebody has to put a stop to this because, it, you know, I don't like somebody playing with my soul. So you like it, and I don't know what to tell you, but I have to put this warning out. Even if I could save one person, that's edification for me, really. Um... Oh, yeah, the story of a deacon uh, who used to be under him. 
and then he had his wife sit in the corner and not allowed to eat trapeze. This is the type of guy he is. You know, I had an Rokor priest telling me that he's so rude. Oh, Gregory, don't join them. And I had other people telling me, don't join them. And, you know, I had to go learn the hard way anyway myself. But that's Gregory. So, and going back to their, you know, they want to sit there and put videos out about the Matthewites. But they're, they're, they have this kind of super correct attitude themselves, which, which is the temptation of the Matthewites, you know. I mean, especially when uh, when I first got scandalized is when I was visiting Athanasius a lot, a lot which is their archpriest, and he was always, you know, couldn't just leave me alone. It's like with the, the corrections and stuff. Just let's take it slow, you know. I mean, most of the time I'm out here working, working very hard and trying my best, and you don't know my spiritual level. And I'm not saying I'm so weak that, you know, I'm going to run away or criticize, but there is people like that. There's someone who I heard, they told him, hey, you can't have a cross on your hat. And they said they never saw him in the church again. And that's a different, you know, place. But you, you can't do that. Oh, I can't wear a t-shirt with a cross on it. I can't have my shorts on, even in the summertime. I can't, even though he keeps the place so hot, I couldn't have a t-shirt on sitting with him. Uh, a jacket, I couldn't, uh, you know, I can't keep my head bald, even though that's natural. You know, it's like because it would be, I'm not a monk, I'm a layman. Uh... You know, I can't have my back to the altar, but I'm starting to, I'm, I'm trying to fix your heater. I'm not, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. It's like, can't do this, can't do that. Can't hug someone who, you know, who has a disability, who is with him. And I, I have no kind of desire for, I mean, that's just weird. It's weird. And you want to call everybody creepy? That's just creepy. And then the one time when I, you know, had to, it was very bad out and, uh, it was raining and it just got very icy. And I said, you know, Panagia and, uh. The miracle you know happened where i was able to uh not have that wreck and then like right away oh you got to say panagia save me oh, i think she understands what i was you know trying to say i mean do i really need that correction right now but well, these are the, the type of people they are super correct you know and just that temptation so i just wanted to put this out there i'll try to include some more stuff in the description box let me look over my notes and see if i'm missing anything here and uh yeah these people are just very you know Partisan, they have a high school attitude. They need to grow up. It's time to be, you know, um, especially George Mills. You know, it's time to be a man. You're not a bishop, by the way. The whole thing with Ambrose was a scam. Archbishop Macarius called Gregory a liar. It shouldn't have been recorded. That's a crime. That was a crime in Greece. So yet you're recording without getting getting his permission. And it's just nothing but, you know, it's a lot of elder worship going on over there. And if you want to stay in that church, I really feel bad. You know, really feel sorry for you. I'm just glad I got out. But who am I, you know, really to? I mean, I was willing to stay and play dumb, and I needed to be offended by them to wait, you know, wake up and even in the face of all the information. So that's kind of embarrassing as it is, you know. It's like you can't stay somewhere because you have a friend there, or it's beautiful, or they feed you, or whatever they've done for you. You just can't do it, and especially, you know, when they go around mocking everybody else and think they're the only, the, the only true bishop, the only, you know, it's <laughs> uh, that. Um, I think that's about it to wrap it up because. Uh, I don't want to keep this going on too long. All right.